Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to do new new timing setup marks in our engine and this engine can be like car or truck engine and now this my information purpose is that when we are replacing like timing belt or timing chain we need to do in some engines those new new timing marks that we can install this timing belt or timing chain in right way and right position back and what we need to do this is really important let's go to look that in what areas we have to do timing marks and how we can do those marks and let's go to look and check out what it ha how it happens okay and then when we start to do this new new timing marks doing and marking and painting and scratching in this our engine first step is that we have to open this cylinder head cover there are those 10 to 8 millimeter holes what I need to open and then we can see this our timing chain and, and camshaft area because we have to install in here those marks in these camshafts and also this timing chain and also these camshafts sprockets and then also to crankshaft and but let's go to look these areas first and then crankshaft okay and this job starts so that we have to install this our engine in this to this top dead center position and this top dead center means that cylinder one is in up position and also camshafts are up and that's I need to rotate now my, my crank shaft using my friends and let's go to look at how and there is this my tool and I rotate that my engine now in clockwise and my purpose is to install this camshafts in TDC position okay and now I am really installing this my camshafts these parts and timing chain in this TDC position what is this top that center position and that's I need my this tool that I check this piston one position and I install that my tool in this spark plug hole and I have also remove this spark plug and this sound means that this tool takes contact to piston great and now I rotate a little bit more my engine because I need to install also these camshafts cams to up now I rotate and there is first cam and also second is coming up and now when they are both in like face up this means that now valves are closed and also piston is up and now we are in this top dead center position okay and now when we have set up this our engine second step is to do those markings in all of these areas what are these camshafts sprockets this one and timing chain and also in that area in this camshaft bearing and what we need that job we need first this metal paint and also this like white paint there is some older markings in here and I use now this my paint what is now blue and let's go to check my things okay and what I need for this timing marks uh, painting process firstly I need this testing device this like metal plate and this is this important 
metal scratch paint. We can purchase this metal scratch paint in any car spare part this tool shop or in internet. This is that like this is tool where is this very hard metal point and it it makes scratch like in here look. This is nice scratch. Very easy to see. And let's go to, we can see that I made in here scratch and then I do second scratch. This is so easy. And this means that now when I take this little bit away we can see the scratch really well. And this is the thing how we do those timing marks next. And this is really first point that we need to get that kind of pencil or then some another sharp tool like knife. It is also or screwdriver, but this is the best one because look, these scratches are really well. And then next step is that I need to get some paint. Okay, and there is really some paint and I have in here this old Toyota, this paint. And let's go to look at how this paint works. And this works really well. Now we can see that there is also there is this scratch and this paint. We need some paint also. And this car repair paints, those touch up paints, they are really excellent. And now we have both this scratch and paint and let's go to do those timing, new timing marks in my engine. Okay, and now when we are in this top dead center position, I need to do my first scratches in this my sprocket and timing chain. And now I do my markings in, in, this, in this timing chain in that way and also this sprocket in that way. And, and then there is two lines and let's go to look closer. Okay, and now we can see those markings really well. I scratch in here this scratch and these are really scratch that if I use my finger they don't go away. And then I use my this touch up paint also in this another line that there is two markings and not too much. This is enough, excellent. And then we do same in that another sprocket. Do same thing in this another side. Firstly, now I use this my this old. I remove this old paint in here, and I do my do my scratch in here two scratches because I need to use this my paint and then I take my paint looks good now there's like two lines excellent and then we go in this back area because we have to mark also in there we have to go in this back area to do markings also in here. Now I need to do markings also in this back area, in here, in that area, that I remember that what is this line in here, in this area, this is like this, and also in, in that sprocket, and then this in here. Okay, and then a little bit paint. And in, in here also. Good. And also in that second area in here, we install in here also paint. We can see this old white paint, but now I scratch the in here new 
markings, two lines, two lines is good. And in here, and I can remove this white old markings in here. Wood, and then my paint, and in here, cool. Now we have nice markings in this camshaft area. And then we can go to camshaft. Okay, and then our camshaft, it is in here, this part. And let's go to do markings in there. So in there we can see that there are those old markings. But now I need to scratch these markings in just in these new positions. And I need to remove this old. And now I do these markings. In directly directly in this this line in here and also that this area and then my paint my paint in that way and also I also do my markings in here and this line this line is really accurate that we remember that they are in same line this is really important this crank shaft puller feet and now we are now we are made these markings in here and after that when we have removed this crankshaft pull a feel bolt, it is good to do markings in here, this crankshaft, this inner part also, when we have removed that pull -out. But now we are in like this basic idea, and now this job is like ready, and this is like information to you, that how to do this new, new timing, chain and timing belt markings in okay and now we are doing this final markings and now we need to do so when we have removed that crankshaft puller field bolt that we have to do those markings also in her inner area that what is this right position when we take this part away in that way we have to do in here small markings in this area also and now I have to set up this my crank camshaft and this my engine to this top the center position because in this Ford engine there is no any locking pins in here and this is this interesting thing in Ford engines okay and now when we are checking this position it is good to do using this tool what tells that when this piston is most topest area in here in this point and now I am moving fly feel and now we can see that when this is going up and down, this is the topest position. And now we can do those markings in this camshaft, this shaft. And this is also good to do carefully just when I remove this camshaft, camshaft, crankshaft puller feel away and let's go to look closer and now we can see that there are those markings and now I use this my pencil and I do in here also small scratch in here and I use my paint in that way and this is 
this marking it must be accurate and also in here okay good <laughs>